We've got a good old fashioned classic winter storm coming our way. So this is uh, very traditional here. What you know for as a kid, it's coming. The snowfall. Good news is great tobogganing weather by Thursday morning. The bad news is the heaviest snowfall intensity. The highest snowfall rates are coming right through the afternoon drive tomorrow. And this is going to be the biggest snowfall of the season so far. At least the biggest two day snowfall as well. If you go back to November 15th and 16th over those two days, we had nine centimeters and we were thinking, oh, this is going to be the beginning of a nice snowy winter although it hasn't been but tomorrow will be so i want you to watch breakfast television in the morning because the morning is not so bad it's minus one and cloudy uh, with snow starting between 9 and 11 a.m but again that heaviest of the snow the intensity picks up right in time for that drive home this is the same system that is causing havoc stateside severe storms you may have already if you're on twitter seen some tornado damage out through houston uh, tornado warnings are in place right now for louisiana and this is going to be going all night for them we're on the cold side of this storm though and there's the start time between 9 and 11 for Toronto. I want you to look for the darkest purples here and that is a problem because this is 4 p.m. and there it is right there. So parts of the QEW, especially areas along the lake, looking at those really high intense snowfall rates, two to four centimeters per hour could even be up to five centimeters per hour for a couple of hours during that afternoon commute. Now come 7 p.m., uh, 8, 9, and 10 p.m. We'll start mixing in rain for St. Catharines, possibly over to Burlington. And by Thursday afternoon, we're back into some sunny breaks. So this snowfall is going to be close to that 20 centimeter mark give or take a few on either side, but it's going to be heavy, wet snow first, then lighter snow sitting on top of it. So it's going to be some backbreaking work here, trying to clear that early Thursday morning. And there's that rainfall. And I said it was just going to hug the Lake Ontario shoreline here, especially out through the West End and back towards the Niagara Peninsula. So that's going to keep things very slushy. Tomorrow, it's not just the snow. It is also the blowing snow that is going to be an issue with wind gusts up to about 60 to 70 kilometers per hour. So it's that visibility issue that's the problem through that drive home and I'll leave you with that seven day forecast with uh, once we get through this winter storm Friday's not bad we may see a few afternoon flurries some gusty winds notice the morning wind chills they're along the bottom so make sure you dress for that and then Sunday that'll be our next snowmaker not a big winter storm though that Sunday snow looking to be around the five centimeter mark just enough to shovel uh, but also adding to some good tobogganing weather as well